I am Dr. Al Tomer. I am Senior Director and Unit Head in Max Super Specialty Hospital, Patpatganj. I am an orthopedic surgeon and I specialize in doing hip and knee replacement surgeries and other complex surgeries of the knee and hip joints. The first case of knee replacement surgery I did in 1994. In the initial phases of knee replacement surgeries, it was in a very primitive stage and the instrument designs and the implant designs were not that good. So we were offering surgeries only in very elderly patients. The, size, the life of the implant was only about 5 years and it was a painful surgery, very expensive surgery and the just were not that good. But it was giving relief of pain in the patient. There were it was a painless surgery, the hospital stay was pretty long for about 4 weeks time and the patients were able to walk only after 10 days time and the rehabilitation period was almost 6 months. Then if we take the example of today, nowadays there is a lot of improvement in the technology and now the, it is a painless, absolutely painless surgery. We don't need any blood, don't need any blood during the surgery. The patient is made to walk the same day or the next day morning. The hospital stay is only 3 to 4 days and patient is able to walk the next day. Rehabilitation is very fast. So patients are very comfortable in 3 to 4 days time and there is almost 95% recovery in 3, three weeks time. The longevity of the implant is also uh, 30 years plus. Then came the jigs. There was a lot of improvement in the jigs systems. By the help of jigs, we were able to align the the joint and make the, the mechanics of the joint perfectly. Then there was development of the, the, uh, the advent of the computer navigation techniques which helped us a lot and we were much better with these techniques. And now for last 3-4 years there is again introduction of the robotics and artificial intelligence in this which is helping us again and the latest in this uh, field is the augmented reality. Augmented reality and which is basically make the pre alignment of the joints more precise, more better and hopefully the results will be much better. Maybe rehabilitation, abhi it, however it has not proven till now that how it is better than the mechanical jigs or the conventional instrumentation but hopefully in the future the results will tell us that the techniques are helping us in, in a much better way. Main challenges in this domain is that initially when I started doing this surgery, this was very expensive surgery and this was out of the reach for a, of a common man. Gradually the surgery became, became available to a common ma man be, because of the medical claim policies and other the, the industries were also supporting and it is now it is, it is uh, in the reach of even a, a common man also. Anybody can afford this surgery and everybody must have the access for this surgery. But with the advent of the technology like the robotics, this has again become expensive. Again becomes, become expensive and we have to judge whether this benefit and cost ratio are adequate. Whether this cost which is being um, created by this robotics is going to help the patient in a better way. So again, this if technological advances are there, again may become out of reach for the for the common man. Most of the patients which are the right candidate of knee replacement surgeries are not ready at the right time. So naturally, when the treatment is delayed too much and the surgery is delayed too much, so results are not that good. Why the results are not get that good? And then the entire blame is thrown on the surgery. That surgery is not good or the doctor is not good. Why it is so? Because whenever the treatment part is delayed, so osteoarthritis or deformity of the knee, they secondary, cause secondary damage to the spine. They cause secondary damage to other parts of the joint. That is called as collateral damage. So whenever spine is damaged, your bones are weaker, that time you have to judge. And you have to properly counsel the patient, counsel the patient what kind of response is expected from the surgery. So artificial intelligence is going to create a huge impact in the outcome, clinical outcomes in the healthcare. And artificial intelligence is based on the data. 
because nowadays with the technology we are able to um, collect a very big huge data big data and based on that data analysis we can suggest we can suggest the the best treatment for a disease process this will help in diagnosing diagnosing primarily will uh, will help us in uh, designing the treatment uh, treatment patterns which treatment is best, uh, best for the clinical conditions and of course the clinical outcomes clinic initially these studies were uh, done on um, uh, the smaller basis by the doctors but based on the larger data bigger data available to us in all the hospitals and if it is combined together so artificial intelligence can give us a accurate help us in in diagnosing a disease process or the clinical outcomes or the treatment patterns in a more accurate way so in the times to come this artificial intelligence is going to help and it will have a much bigger role in the healthcare uh, transformation this way the number of surgeries being performed are going to be very very high in our country and with the affordability various health care facilities given by giving given by the government the medi claim policies and other policies and the cost of the surgery is becoming lesser and lesser and it is going to be more affordable and the results will be more reproducible and the quicker rehabilitation and the painless surgeries with the technology this surgery is going to be very popular with times so most of the patients that are coming they have a lot of information about the treatment even before they come to the doctors so whenever we advise the patient that you need a replacement surgery patient has already taken treatment so knee replacement surgery immediately the patient is like uh, not ready with the surgery and they think that uh, knee replacement with some kind of big knee joint is being put there in the joint and we remove the entire bones and uh, the entire joint it is not like that it is only knee resurfacing surf surgery bones and ligaments and everything remains there only the cartilage which is damaged is being resurfaced number 1 number 2 uh, they uh, they are ready for any other treatment that surgery doctor uh, please don't operate do any other treatment so they are amenable to other kind of advices which have been given to them and they go for uh, alternative medicines they go for uh, local therapy local application local injections which basically harm them my advice to them is like they must consult the right doctor and follow the advice so initially these models were not available bone models were not available so whenever we we are telling the patient that knee replacement is advised ghutna badalna hai ghutna badalna means they had a different kind of impression about the joint that the entire thing has to be changed so with these models bone models we can explain them the proper anatomy what is the knee joint not the entire thing but only this cartilage so they can understand the cartilage whenever we show that this is the real bone models it is like their own bone only so then patients are able to understand clearly what is being done what uh, things are being going to be replaced what is going to be resurfaced what exactly is going to be done initially when these bone models were not there we were not able to explain them them nicely so then patients who are going for surgery they will say do whatever you want to do i want to be just get relief from the pain